How's it going guys? Um, today I thought I'd show you a little bit about the SAF Super Clutch. I got a customer here a lot of times for customers. I'll do custom uh, paint work. Like this uh, skulls are, is black. This one's black. This one's purple. Uh, the finish work onto the disc. And a little bit of a uh, few methods I want to do. This is a uh, a uh, pretty interesting uh, build I'm going to do here for this one. And I uh, just want to show you a little bit about the process of what I go through to uh, make it uh, customized for uh, customers. So anyway, so I got a, a blank disc here. And what I'm going to try to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and clean off, deburr some of it. And um, we're going to go ahead and, and paint it in a process uh, with some, uh, it's an interesting process with some Plasti Dip. This is an interesting product here. Um, I like to use it for uh, certain things. You can use it for decals on your vehicle. It's really interesting. It's a plastic paint. And uh, you can use it for masking as well. And I'm going to spray in some um, VHT. Uh, caliper paint for uh, it's 900 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to put a primer onto it a zinc chromoly uh, primer which will help bond everything to uh, the aluminum disc so what I'm going to first off I'm going to start with is I'm going to take some Plasti Dip and I'm going to spray this whole surface and I'm going to put three coats on it and once it dries uh, applying it every 30 out 30 minutes once I get three to four coats on there I'm going to be able to uh, peel off the areas that I don't want um, that I want uh, paint to adhere to and the rest of the areas where I don't want paint to adhere to we're going to leave the Plasti Dip there almost like uh, masking it off but it's just a little bit uh, easier process than masking something more complicated like this where it would take you a long time to cut it. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do here put these off to the side. I'm going to take a painting box or something to paint on and I'm going to take this and we're going to put uh, some, some of the plastic dip on it. This one happens to be a clear smoke. You can get it in uh, other uh, colors too as well. So we're going to go ahead and shake it up a bit and then apply it. Okay, now that um, I've applied uh, four coats to this of Plasti Dip, you can see that it's, uh, like I said, it's a plastic paint. It's really interesting kind of stuff. So what this stuff allows you to do is you can take the paint here like this and I can just grab it because it's plastic and what it does is on sharp edges uh, it'll peel away um, I can go ahead and move it remove it here and peel this whole area up but the way this stuff works so you can spray this around decals like on your vehicle and stuff like that and just pull this off the paint and what's left is your decal is is colored so as you can see it here uh, this is just pulling away from the area here and just leaving all of this here so just pull up some more of that just like that now basically There we go, pull it up. So basically now these areas here are perfectly masked. So now I can go ahead and apply primer to this area and uh, uh, with a coating on here so uh, the, the paint won't uh, go onto this part. Okay, now uh, I've peeled off all the Plasti Dip on all the areas that I want to apply paint to. So all in here, this area here I'm going to leave for a finish. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint some colors into here later. 
So I want to get the backdrop here uh, painted. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to take some uh, zinc uh, primer and it's for aluminum and we're going to paint it right over top of the Plasti Dip. Right now we're just going to let that dry for about an hour and then I'm going to go ahead and apply some uh, VHT uh, high temperature 900 degrees uh, paint into this area. All right now that our primer is nice and dry uh, we're going to go ahead and add the blue paint to it. And then we're going to let that dry. All right, so um, we're going to let this uh, uh, set aside and dry for a while. And while I'm letting it dry, what I got here is just to customize it for this customer. I'm going to add some um, small letters to the SAF Super Clutch. Just to give it a little bit more customization for the customer. I love doing stuff like this for uh, people. Uh, it's not always about how many and how fast you can sell them or for me anyways this is the more fun part for me to uh, make someone happy so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on so what I got here to put these small letters on is really really gonna be challenging so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tape Cut that off. And I'm gonna make it about so long so it's workable. This is just regular painter's tape. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick that on there like that. And this is upside down. Let's see if I can get the get off my fingers here. I don't want to cooperate. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of this here. And I'm just going to tape down this one side. Just so it stays on the on the board. And then I'm going to go ahead and take another piece. I'll just use this. Or actually, I'm just going to take another piece. So this is the sticky side up. So I can take these letters and stick it onto here. Let's try to get this straight and flat. And I'm peel this up because I don't like how it's sitting. Bear with me here. Okay, that's not too bad. So my plan is, is to take these little letters and stick them to the tape, cut it out and attach them onto the SAF Super Clutch. All right. So I'm also going to have to put this on uh, backwards. So I'll go ahead and um, start to take these apart. and. 
find the right letters are quite small. And I'll go ahead and start pulling them off. Okay, now that I got my letter off, I'm going to put it upside down and put it on to the tape. Upside down. Okay, that's my first letter. I know it's really small, hard to see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to spell out the word. And then I'm going to cut this off. And use it to transfer it onto the clutch. Which I think should add a pretty nice uh, detail to it. And pers personalization. Okay, I've gone ahead and got all my letters on. Um, I marked it out here so I can see uh, where I'm putting it onto the disc. And what I'm going to try to do, this is very difficult to get on here. So I'm going to try to cut this out straight. this off the side all right so this is a one-shot deal for me and uh, we'll see if uh, it goes on or not see if I can see those marks yeah Let's see if I can enhance that a little bit here here and there. So I know where the placement is. All right. Here's my disc. That's nice and freshly painted. And I'm gonna try to line this up. Like I said, this is a one-shot deal onto my disc. Here we go. Kind of nervous to do, actually. Okay. Seems to be working so far. Slowly pull this off. All right. I really like that. So I'll hold it up to the light here. To possibly see it. Now that I got that on there, that looks great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this stuff peels off now. I have to let it dry just a little bit more. It's just a little bit wet still. The paint's just a little bit soft, so I'm going to uh, let it uh, set up just a little bit more before I pull this off, before I pull the plastic paint off. Alright, I might go ahead and put um, 
some more lettering into uh, these spots here, which I think would be pretty cool. All right, I'm going to uh, start to pull off this plasti dip and not a very good area to start with. Now I'll start over here. Still a little bit tacky, so it's um, breaking very easily. Usually, when it's a little drier, it'll just peel off right away. I'll slowly get to work on that. This one little piece off. I can show you what it will look like. Stuck in these grooves a little bit. There. So that's basically what it'll be like. Um, I'll just have to work at it to get some of it out of these little cracks. Um, I'll go along and do that to the rest of the disc. There, that's a little better. I'll go along to the rest of the disc and uh, pull off the plasti dip. And then my next step here is I'm going to take some black paint and I'm going to put it into these grooves and then I'm going to polish it off and all you're going to let be left with is uh, the black lines should look great so I got some trim clad uh, black uh, paint here in the can and I just shook it up and I'm going to paint in some of the slashes now I don't need a lot of paint I need a little bit. I'm just going to use the lid and this nice fine paintbrush. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm just going to dab it into the, the lines here on every one. I just want to fill those up really good. Okay, we're all finished um, uh, painting in the black, and now I'm going to resurface the area so that uh, just the slashes show. And uh, with the painstakingly time, I managed to get in the lettering onto the SAF. So now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, finish off the surface. There, I think it looks uh, it's starting to look really smart now. Um, the whole uh, uh, surface has been finished 
and uh, it really, really pops out the slashes. I think it looks really smart. And so now, now I'm just going to go ahead and install uh, my clutch disc. Uh, it's a CNC version, um, super strong, uh, durable. Uh, this this will last a lifetime. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put onto it black hardware. And I think that will make a it look really good on the fella's bike because uh, his bike is um, is black so I think this will uh, sharpen up and I think what I'll do is I think I'll put a set of um, black springs on it as well okay for the final step I'm gonna add um, some uh, clear high temp uh, paint onto it and just clear coat it so it seals it. And that'll bring out the shine in it. So this clutch here, it holds 700 pounds pressure. Um, by far, is one of the strongest ones on the market. Um, it has really strong holding power. I think the customer is going to really like it. 